again today for color rush studio i am playing with the hey boo kit the acrylic no nope, i don't use the acrylic in this one um the add-on and a few other things i actually grabbed something from one of the past kits and use it i think it was from golden days so you'll see that here before too long i did some fussy cutting um i pulled this from my stash and it's distress mica stain uh flickering candle um, I just kind of, I guess I'm going a different direction with this one. I wanted the shiny, I wanted the pretty, and I'm using that kind of as my focus. And this is, it looks like an extremely awkward picture of my daughter, um, standing in front of a bunch of fall stuff. She wanted to take the picture, but she wanted it the way she wanted it, and she was just being goofy, and I love it. Um, so I went ahead and took the picture, and I'm scrapbooking it, and she thinks it's hilarious. So, I'm good with that. Um, I'm back in the photo. I do rough up my edges. Um, I'm pulling some papers from the main kit and then some papers from the Hey Boo add-on. Um, and so I'm just kind of mixing and matching until I'm happy with the way it looks. I also did some fussy cutting out of the Hey Boo add-on and cut out some of these cute little leaves and pumpkins. Um, actually, I think the pumpkins are from the main kit. Nope, they're the add-on as well. See, I'm not always great at this. Um... I cut out some of the things from the cut apart sheet and I'm going to use that. I'm not going to end up using the flowers um, down there on the right hand side. Um, I'm just kind of roughing the edges up of the pumpkins and the leaves and tucking them here and there. I'm adding the pumpkin uh, pumpkins from the ephemera pack as well. I'm trying to find something else to use. I decided to use this. This comes out of uh, one of the little things that we got. And I use it to add a little more green and add another area up to the top right. I just kind of, I wanted a third area. Three sets of clusters at least. You know, that was just kind of what I wanted. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to figure out, and right now I knew I had these canvas flares from um, a past kit. And I was like, man, these would work great with this. I thought they looked gorgeous. They look kind of like with the folly vibe. Um, and so I went ahead and grabbed two of those. I added one to the bottom of the photo and one up to the top cluster. And then I fussy cut a couple more of these leaves out. And now I'm going to grab my glue and I'm going to start gluing everything down. I'm going to try to kind of stick things um, where they belong, stick them to the back of the photo and just try to make it to where everything kind of sticks together so I can move it as one. It doesn't fully work. I do pick it up and move it shortly. Not yet though. Um, I'm going to kind of do the same here. I'm really going to glue this stuff down to where it belongs right now because I know that I don't have to worry about popping all that up. I am going to pop this cute little pumpkin up um, just so there's a little more dimension over here as well, especially since I used those three or those two um, canvas flares. I decided that um, at least having something else popped up in that section will give me a little more dimension in more than just the two areas of the layout. If that makes any sense. I don't know. It may just my brain at least. Um, I'm gluing these pieces down as well. I thought I might cut some strips or wonky places off my layout and add some color underneath it. Um, I decided against it. As you saw, I was drinking my coffee. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and trim these off and just push them out of the way really. Um, and that finishes this layout. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really had a blast. Make sure to check out the links below. Grab the kit if there's any left, if you can still get your hands on it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.